Sai Ram everyone. So now we are in the third lesson. What is the lesson name? Nirvi Marsha Hi Bhiravaha. This is the lesson name. Nirvi Marsha Hi Bhiravaha. So what is that meaning we need to know? What is that Bhiravaha meaning? We will see Bhiruhu. In Sanskrit there is a word called Bhiruhu. What is that meaning? Bhiruhu. Bhiruhu which means someone, one who is having fear about something. He is called Bhiruhu. Having fear. Okay. Having fear. Someone, one who is having fear about something, that person is called Bhiruhu. In the plural form, if so many of them are like that, then plural form Bhiravaha. Okay. So that's what Bhiravaha. So they said Bhiravaha Nirvimarshaha. So what is this nirva, Nirvimarsha meaning? That also we need to know. Vimarsha which means, we first we will take Vimarsha. Vimarsha which means thinking, right? Thinking. Vimarsha is thinking. Nir. What is What does this Nir says? Actually, what is this word? This is, you know, uh, prefix. Okay? It's an Upasarga which means prefix. Nir. Uh, it almost, uh, most of the time this Upasarga or this prefix tells negativity. Nir, which means negative thing. See, Vimarsha is thinking. Nir Vimarsha means not thinking. Not thinking. So, what does it mean then? Nir Vimarsha ha, Marsha hi Bhiravaha. So, people who are having fear about something, they don't think. They don't think. Without thinking, they will go to do some work. Right? That is how it is. That is the meaning of this lesson. So, people who are having fear, they don't think. Without thinking only, they are going to do the work. That is how they are called Nirvimarshaha. Yes? We will see the next slide now. Yes, the meaning of the lesson is explained. Nirvimarsha, right? Nirvimarshahi Bhiravaha. Now, here you can see two words, Soma Deva and Katha Sarit Sagara. What does this Soma Deva mean or who is he? So, Soma Deva is the author, okay? Author. Then what is this Katha Sarit Sagara? It's a work. Katha Sarit Sagara, it's a work of Soma Deva. Soma Deva has written Katha Sarit Sagara. That's what in the preamble part they are explaining. Kavya Bhagaha Ayam Soma Deva Virachita Katha Sarit Sagara Namaka Grantha Svikrita is taken. What is taken? Kavya Bhagaha. Ayam Kavya Bhagaha. This lesson or this chapter is taken from, is taken from where? Katha Sarit Sagara Namaka Grantha. From a you know, book called Katha Sarit Sagara or from a work, from a literature called Katha Sarit Sagara. Who has written this? Soma Deva Virachitam. Soma Deva Virachitat. Soma Deva has written Katha Sarit Sagara and from that Katha Sarit Sagara book or literature we have taken this lesson Nirvim Marshahi Bhiravaha. So they are explaining a little more about Katha Sarit Sagara now. Katha Sahitye Padya Rupa Apurva Kritirayam. Yeah, this work or this literature Katha Sarit Sagara is a great literature in Sanskrit literature actually. That's what they are saying. Now, Bharatiya Samskriti Pratipadakan Amshan Saralaya Shailya Pratipadayanti Nidincha Upadishanti Iyam Katha Sarit Sahrudaya Sagaram Pravishati Iti Nasti Samshiti Yeah, see, he is explaining. It's very nice. Listen here. So, in this Katha Sarit Sagara, what is there? Bharatiya Samskriti Pratipadakam. So, Bharatiya Samskriti is Indian culture. So, the whole Katha Sarit Sagara, the stories in Katha Sarit Sagara book, they are all, the, 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 the stories, they are going to resemble Indian culture or they are going to uh, show Indian cultures in every story, Amshan, some points or some major points of Indian culture is structured very simple way structured in a simple format saralaya shailya in a simple format they have all these indian cultural points have been structured uh, in a simple way in a story format in this katha sarit sagara literature 
and they are going to explain the moral also so these stories are going to preach upadesha preaching preach the moral moral uh, you know qualities or moral messages so by saying like this this katha sarit sarit is river katha is story a yeah, story is like a river how river is going to the ocean sagara see here all rivers are going to ocean right the same way katha like a river katha will enter the heart of the people so how rivers are moving to sagara the same way stories are moving to the heart of the people so in that there is no doubt there is no doubt in this thing there is no doubt here that's what they have explained in the next line now we'll see the further we'll see little further अत्यंत रोचकतया रमणीयतया च उपनिबद्धा कथा छात्रेषु पठनासक्ति जनयन्ति सुनीतिं कुनीतेहे अपायञ्च बोधयन्ति कथा साहित्य कृतेहे गरिमानं वर्धयति एंड मोर ओवर व्हाट इट टेल्स सो द स्टोरी इज देयर वेरी एक्साइटिंग दिस कथा सरित सागरा टेल्स द स्टोरी व्हिच विल व्हिच विल क्रिएट द एक्साइटमेंट एंड the stories are very beautifully structured see upanibabadha uh, which means structuring or structured upanibabadha is past tense form so structured the katha the stories there are there all the stories are structured uh, in an exciting format and beautifully they are structured these kind of stories they will create the enthusiasm asakti create the enthusiasm in the students in the students and moreover sunitim the stories will enrich the good qualities in the students <coughs> and it will the stories will uh, warn everyone about the kuniti about the bad things so by saying by preaching like this katha sahitya kritehe garimanam vardhayati by preaching like this this katha sarit sagara is taking the level of the sanskrit literature of the, the the story literature in a different level that's what about katha sarit sagara by somadeva so what is the major points yes major takeaways are here point number 1 somadeva is the author you have to remember katha sarit sagara is a source book you have to remember yeah rochakam which means excitement ramaniyam which means beautiful or nice one okay yes now we'll start the lesson so before starting the lesson as usual they will tell the purva katha background story what happened so ekada vatsarajah vasavadattaya sah vivaha anantaram rajakaryam vismarati what happens once i mean vatsaraja the king he got married with vasavadatta he got married with vasavadatta after getting married with her once what will happen this vatsaraja uh, almost he forgets his work rajakaryam he is a king right he forgets his work vivahanantaram after marriage he forgets means he, he was not able to focus more on his work what he should do being a king by that time rajyasya kechana bhupradeshaha paravashangataha then at the, at the same point of time what what will happen or what happened rajyasya his kingdoms kechana some parts some parts bhupradeshaha some parts have gone to the enemy's hands have gone to the enemy's hands or enemies they have attacked some of his kingdoms places hmm? tada that time tasya mahamantri swaminishtha yogandha rayanah chintakulah senapatina sah samalochayacha that time yes obviously if the king is not taking care of the kingdom then who should think about the kingdom mahamantri the minister minister yogandha yogandharayana is vatsarajas minister or he was his minister yogandharayana it's his name swaminishtha yes always of course all the ministers they will be they will show their faith to the kings swami nishtha faith towards king so mahamantri minister he was uh, having faith in vatsaraja yogandharayana chintakulah he started thinking he got tensed that's the reason samalochanam oh, he he has done samalochana means he has discussed samalochana discussion with senapati with 
commander who was his commander we'll see later so senapati so now in this situation the minister yavagandharayana and commander the both they had some discussions in the discussion yavagandharayana minister took some point he has explained a, a story what happened in the past mahasena there was a king called mahasena and he was also having the same problem so then uh, you know saha see uh, see in the front saha swapatni uh, sorry saha tatpatni vyamohat bahiragatya rajyavaram katham krutvan iti virunoti yes yavagandharayana explains about a king uh, called mahasena in the past also there was a king called mahasena how he had come out of his uh, you know uh, vyamoha means like moha is over mm, over love towards the wife come out, he has he had how he had come out of that over love towards his wife and he had ruled his country his kingdom properly he has explained that uh, what mahasena story to senapati and then tathaiva vatsaraja vishaye api karani and the same way we have to take our king vatsaraja we have to take him out from that over love towards vasavadatta tathaiva as it is we have to do that's what is explained by yogananda rayana ataha vasavadatta dagdha It's important remember vasavadatta dagdha iti mithya pravadam prasarya pradyota sutaya saha vivahanch karayitum yuktim kathayati so yukti the plan was this what was the plan of yogananda rayana minister plan was this they or yogananda rayana wanted to create a story wanted to create a story saying vasavadatta is burned in a fire accident so minister wanted to create a story narrate a story saying vasavadatta the queen vasavadatta is burned in a fire accident and prasarya means just spreading a wrong message okay spreading hoax so and pradyota suta and one more uh, queen or one more uh, princess pradyota's daughter to be uh, married to vatsaraja so vasavadatta uh, to be burnt that's a story okay we have to spread this wrong news or a gossip in the people like you know simple some it's not truth some lie matter so and then vatsaraja to be married with pradyota's daughter this is the plan this plan is explained by yogananda rayana then tada then what happened senapati hi rumanvan yeah the senapati's name i haven't told here see rumanvan was the commander what he says yadi yukte he anushthane viphalo bhavema tarhi upahasatam rajnah anadarancha gachema so iti ashankya imam katham kathayati so that moment senapati tells if yadi means if if we fail vifalaha fail if we fail in the execution of the plan yes you said a plan we have to do it perfectly we should not go wrong if we go wrong then what will happen the plan will collapse then what will happen people will laugh at us upahasata people will laugh at us and king also will lose his faith in us king also will have a different mindset with us he will lose faith in us so that doubt is there that ashankya so that doubt he express this doubt okay he express his doubt and he continues the story i mean he express express the doubt and how it will happen how we will be you know how he, people will laugh at us or how king will lose faith in us that's what will be explained by a story okay then the story part will start yeah so how it happens you can see here down see these are the major points here you can see vatsaraja number 1 vatsaraja okay let us take his vatsaraja Hmm? Vasavadatta. She is Queen Vasavadatta. Hmm? Vivaha. Yes, the both they got married. So because of the marriage, King Vatsaraja forgets his work. 
hmm? because he starts spending most of his time with the queen then paravashangata some of his the some of the parts of his kingdom they have gone to the enemy's hands hmm? then mahamantri mahamantri or swami nishtha all these things they have explained uh, the minister yogandharayana his name is yogandharayana and and commander rumanvan senapati commander rumanvan the both they will plan okay so in that plan before starting the plan yogandharayana explains a story of a king mahasena how it happened in mahasena's case the same way yogandharayana plans to take vatsaraja out from his over love towards his wife so he plans vasavadatta dagdha vasavadatta is burnt in a fire accident this is what a plan of yogandharayana that's how we have to plan that's what he tells then after planning like this vatsaraja should not go mad without his wife so we have to make vatsaraja to marry with pradyota suta another princess pradyota suta with her we have to arrange marriage of vatsaraja okay arrange marriage of vatsaraja then rumanvan who the senapati commander he explains if we do this one it's okay if the plan works out no problem if plan goes wrong then people will laugh at us and king will be having a bad opinion towards us that doubt ruman one the senapati expressed that doubt okay this is what these are the major points from background story you should know all these points how it happened it's a story you can write all these things in four to five sentences hmm? yes we'll see the story part we'll see the we'll we'll start the story in our next classes